I'm kind of doing this with sadness in my heart. I had um, stated an opinion on immigration for um, the people in Mexico um, because until, until Eric, Eric Holder is in jail, I mean, we're causing the havoc and the chaos these people are going through. And um, I would consider them refugees. But um, I was told any illegal or undocumented worker in the immigration bill, um, you know, shouldn't be allowed in America. Um, I'm wondering, first of all, how many of ours, my father was half white, came here undocumented. And um, also, I am a Native American, the other half of me. And if you live on a reservation, that's considered a sovereign nation inside the United States of America. Although you don't have the same rights as American citizens, you can vote and you can do some things. And it depends on how how well you get along with the government, the American government, is on how much you can do. Your health care is experimental. Um, they don't even do some health care. Doctors Without Borders did a leg surgery on me. Um, I'm almost in tears because people don't realize that Native Americans <laughs> are pretty much undocumented illegal immigrants in their own country their country and no one wants to talk about that issue when i said food food should never be used as a weapon against any starving human being who's crossing an invisible line because of tyranny and tyranny that we in america promoted you know i was put down and ran down and every time i tried to defend myself as a native american it was like I didn't know what I was talking about um, because of what is learned in school and the dumbed down populace and even the people who think they're not sheep don't realize that Native Americans are starving to this day on basis. There was a case where um, uh, on the Sioux Reservation, the Osagla Reservation, where um, South Dakota, I, I think there was 18 felony counts of rape uh, against a man and his wife and and they overturned this and gave the children back to the foster family instead of to the good Indian people who wanted their children back there was nothing wrong with the people they take Indian children away they're never seen from again we can't even find bodies that they, that's going on in Canada now they're looking for bodies of of the Aboriginal First Nations people and the Native Americans here have no say so all I ever hear from white people is they've got casinos they're rich and they're just hiding it well let me tell you something in the state of Washington half the revenues go to the state of Washington the other half goes to some whitewashed Indian and then some trickles down to the Native Americans and if you drive through an Indian reservation you'd see what I mean the food they get is that food that people used to get. Remember that cheese, that food bank cheese, that government stuff? That's the food they get. They get GMO food and their medical care is experimental. And it's horrible. And they are not citizens of this country even though they are. They're a nation within a nation. But still, you can't, no one hires an Indian no one will go out. An Indian, it's, it's, it's harder for an Indian to find a job than a damn illegal Mexican. And all I'm saying is if somebody escaped over that border because of what havoc we caused and Eric Holder's not in jail, they deserve to be here because I, I know some of the Hispanics that have made it up here to Washington State and they told us about the bloodshed and the carnage and the chaos there. And you know what? It's very sad. They didn't seem liberal or conservative. They just wanted humanity to get along. And obviously America is pretty dumbed down because I, I just went through, I, I'm going to get off of YouTube. I've been putting up videos because my doctor just called me and told me I had to stay in bed about 10 days or see a surgeon. So um, I've been making videos and commenting and this and that. But obviously um, what I'm finding is... People don't even know their own American history, or they don't want to look at the Native Americans' history. We were just savages, you know. That's what it was. So right now, I'm very hurt. I'm very disappointed, and I del deleted my comment because when Kenny has to go and apologize for me on a site over immigration and using food as a weapon 
and medicine as a weapon, then shame on the American peoples. I'm tired of it. We'll never get to an age of humanity where we can respect one another when invisible borders mean everything to some of you people. I'm just really sick and tired of it. When the empires fall, humanity will come together. And that's what needs to happen. The empires need to fall. Don't blame it on the little people that are getting killed and their families are getting slaughtered and they're starving. I don't care what country they're from. And I'm sorry I'm so angry, but I'm hurt and I'm almost in tears. People don't get it. It's all about this or that or some bill in Congress. Do you think these bills matter to us? We're their chattel, for God's sakes. This is a CEO. This is a corporation. Anything happening in Congress has nothing to do with us. We're slaves. Until that bill of 1871 is repealed, anything you comment on is just bullshit. So I'm sorry I'm cursing and I'm sorry I'm so upset, but... But people seem to want to be controlled by religion and government at this point. And so I'm going to say, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to, I don't know what to say anymore. I do love everybody and I hope everybody gets a grip. But at this point, I don't need people defending me, someone in my own house defending me, because I don't think food or, or anything should be used as a weapon when we cause the chaos and the terror to begin with. And, and that's just how I feel as a human being. Maybe human emotions are being lost somewhere in the distractions. But anyway, I do love everyone. Peace and love. And, and until you've been there in someone else's shoes, don't pretend like you have.